Uh, right. Oh no! Oh no no no! Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Thank you again for all the amazing support everyone has been leaving on this series. I truly do appreciate it, and everyone really did enjoy the last episode, so thank you for that. And today what we're going to do is we're going to continue to work on the Mountain Town. I've actually done a few things off screen that actually enhanced from last build, so I'll show you guys in just a second what we've done. But if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button. Let's go ahead and see if we can reach 200 likes for today's episode. And if you guys are part of notification squad make sure you say that in the comment sections with a hashtag notification squad and if you guys want to be part of that all you have to do is hit that bell next to subscribe button but let's get started in today's episode so what i've done uh recently off screen was i filled in this uh building here similar with how i filled in the cabin over here so as you guys can see it's kind of matching the same style and it's keeping everything quite the same i've also done a few other things which is actually finally complete the water source here and i've done a lot Lot of work on designing how the water is going to flow down into a pond over here so as you can see this pond is going to be pretty much here to uh, mostly for decoration uh, of sorts but it's also going to hold some logs eventually um, because sometimes logs actually do they keep them in water so if you guys didn't know that I'll probably pop up a picture uh, but there yeah that's kind of the whole theme of this I might open it up and make it a little bit bigger but for now this is just what I needed really simple and yeah here it is let me know what you guys think about this I really did put some time in detail into making this look like it's natural and formed into this uh, side of the mountain here so so far I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and it looks quite cool so uh, other than that I haven't done much more to this little log area section but today we're gonna be working on a few designs um, and we're gonna start working on this building like I mentioned in the last episode so we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some supplies uh, and we're gonna get started so I think that's pretty good and in the next episode we might venture off and start working on some other things because I think it's about time we do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab some other things we need here. Let's go just grab everything we can, actually. Um... All right, so let's grab some dirt, some, or not some dirt, but mostly wood and stone. That's kind of what I need right now, and that should be fairly good. We'll take a crafting table. We'll take some gravel and some fences. That's pretty much everything, I would assume. Uh, we'll take some armor stand. Why not? Some coarse dirt, and we are off and good to go. Uh, all righty, so uh, this is what I've done recently. So, oh, there's a spider in here. How's it going, spider? Welcome. That's not your house. <laughs> so what I've done is I've actually put two windows on this side. I've dug down. I cleared up the area down there um and that's pretty much it besides doing the river uh or oh no oh no 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 oh my gosh <laughs> where the heck did he come from all right it's not that bad but why does it always have to happen like why does this always have to happen literally all the creepers nowadays just show up out of nowhere i'm not even lying they show up out of nowhere nowadays but yeah there goes the surprise <laughs> so yeah this is the downstairs that we've built it's a little small pathway uh now hopefully we have enough blocks to fill in oh i don't think we do oh no it really had to destroy all of it do i have any leftovers uh, around here. That would be great if I did. If not, I'm gonna have to make some more eventually and doesn't look like... Oh, I do. Okay, good. I have some leftovers. Good thinking, Alexon. Good thing. Good thing I keep some extras. You know, if I didn't, that would have been pretty bad. Alright, so we just have to fix up this area. Uh, oh god. Fix up the ceiling. Why? <laughs> Why? Why does this have to happen? Like, seriously, everything was going so smoothly, Creeper. You had to really interrupt everything. Alright, I'll put a crafting table over there. We'll make our slabs. And we'll get on with our day. And hopefully this does not happen again to us because everything was going so, so well. Um, I think it even messed up the side. Or no, we're good. Okay, cool. All right, finally we're back to normal besides this little section here, which we're going to fix up right now. Here we go. So the door was going to be like there. Oh my gosh, that was quite an entrance from the creeper. Thank you so much right there. All right, so that should be clearing up the whole situation. That was an early start off of a big mess, but back to normal let's go ahead and grab our fences and yeah so this is gonna be the inside we're not gonna really do much with up here besides maybe a little bit of decor like we did with that cabin so something very small in here but the main uh project is going to be down here we're going to be working on there but i also want to add some windows which is why i grabbed the glass i also need to add some stairs let's go ahead and grab some stairs there we are um and the stairs are just going to go down here like this and they're just going to connect to the window like that and it's pretty simple so that's just the whole theme. It looks quite simple. I also forgot, I do want to add my stone cobblestone walls that are going to connect down here. Now, I have a feeling the creepers came from, like, down here. 
somewhere around here. I feel like there's a good amount of creepers just hanging around, but uh, we'll probably have to close this off eventually or do something with it. And we're also going to work on the entrance a little bit as well, because as you can see, uh, it's just going to be one door. And if I don't have a door on me right now, hopefully I can make something really quick. No, I can't. Uh, let's go ahead and make a door quickly. Here we go. We just need one. I really do like this. This is kind of helpful when you can craft quickly like that. It does take away some time uh, from crafting, so I do like that. I also want to continue to work with a similar design like we did in the last episode, uh, which was down there. So I'm going to replicate that here. If I do have some polished andesite, we can do the same as here as well. Not like that, though. Let's fix that. Here we go. And same with the bottom. Now, obviously, I think we should fix it up where we make it a little bit even. So we'll do that as well. And down here, we could just get some dirt, which I have a little bit leftover dirt. Um, and I have some coarse dirt, which we can actually use a bit like that. So not too bad. I'm quite happy with that. Of course, we're going to have to be designing the pathway in here. So we'll do that right now. I wonder if I have any slabs. That would be fantastic. It looks like I do not. So let's go ahead and craft ourselves some basic slabs. I think we're going to... Oh, I feel like we use uh, andesite slabs. That would be quite cool. All right, right now we don't have any stone for the... Wait, do we have any stone left over? Like... I should have something. If not, then I'm surprised I don't have any more stone left. Uh, any stone? No, we have uh, cracked stone. We'll just use some stone brick for the time being. I'm not sure. You know what? I'm just not going to bother with it. We'll do that eventually. And I've worked on the path, if you guys haven't noticed already. I have worked on the path a little bit as well. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple, this whole thing here. Uh, we do want to put uh, a stair. So let's go ahead. I think we do need that last cobblestone stair that we have. So let's go ahead and, and snatch that real quick. I just saw it here somewhere just hanging around. Perfect. That's like just using all our resources. So we're going to have to save up and definitely uh, make some more eventually. But there we go. It's a simple entrance. Uh, and I do like it. I think it works just perfectly with it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Now for the inside, for the decorations, we'll have to work on that eventually. Uh, but for the time being, if we have time, we will. If not, then there's no big deal. We'll do it another time. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully we're going to get to everything today. It's not really easy to get to everything today, but we'll try our best. So there we go. It's it's quite a simple room. Uh, there isn't really anything else to it. We could probably add our decorations like I've mentioned here uh, at the end of the episode. So as we make our way back down, I do want to add something that I just remembered. I want to add the stone uh, wall or cobblestone wall just to connect downwards like this. I think that's quite cool, quite simple. And it adds a little bit to this room. Now, I wanted it to look messy because it is underground. And I don't really want it to look so, like, fancy because we are at a lumberyard area. So, there's no need to make everything looking very fancy. And I also added some, like, uh, cutouts kind of under the ground here to add some more space. Because I figured, you know what, it would look kind of cool to have a little workstation inside here. Um, and that's what we're going to do a little bit as well. Uh, look at that. We got ourselves, what is this called again? Uh, all right, Dorite. Yeah, we haven't been really working with Dorite, uh, but maybe we will eventually. Oh, no, what the heck is this? Uh, sorry, something just popped up all of a sudden. Uh, I think we're good now. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So now what I want to do is a little bit of design on the inside. So we still have some spruce wood. We can definitely go ahead and use some spruce wood here because we are at a lumberyard. And you know what? We definitely have a lot of resources for it, I'd say, if you're at a lumberyard. So we can use as much of it as possible. Uh, we're going to make the top a bit of a simple design like so. Uh, there we go. Let me fix this piece here. That shouldn't be like that. And then in the inside, we are going to have a little bit of a workstation uh, that if anything needs to be done quickly, then it is set to go. So we're probably going to add an anvil eventually, which I do not have. Um, and uh, probably we're going to add a furnace, which I don't have enough stone for, which I probably should go ahead. You know, what? we could make it one more further in so I can get myself some more stone as well. There we go. And we're definitely going to add a furnace in here. So I believe I can craft the furnace. Can I not craft the furnace? Come on now. This has to be a possibility. Okay, no. Uh, so I have to most likely make... Oh, wait. There we go. I think I should be able to make one. Maybe not. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. Well, that is that. I uh, can't really say much more about that. I'll just make a crafting table, I guess, really quick since I do have the supplies for it. I'm making a lot of crafting tables, but I realize, you know what? A lot of my builds are going to need crafting tables no matter what. So we'll make a quick furnace over here as well. Uh, we'll probably put one over there. We'll have our cobblestone wall going upwards like that we'll probably add if i have did i take any other slabs with me yes i did okay so we can use these slabs place them down right there as a little small table to work on and like i said this is going to be a work of progress uh we'll probably have it like this you can do something there we'll probably put a chest as well did i leave my chest no i did not okay great 
So we could definitely put a chest right over there and we can even try and put something over here. But for the time being, I don't know exactly what I want to put over there. So I'll just put a frame. I'll just put a few frames like this and we could probably put, for, for example, why not? We'll just put a log in there and then we can put, uh, let's go ahead and put maybe some, maybe a stone or maybe some coarse dirt, just something randomly for now just to look like a workstation. There we go. It's a work of progress. Like I mentioned, we're still going to do the flooring. The flooring needs to be done. The interior just a tad bit. But like I said, we're working on small touches for now. And oh, it's night. I am not going to go and fight a creeper. So we're going to go and get some rest real quickly. Alrighty, so brand new day. Let's get right into this. So uh, let's go ahead and see. So from down here, like I said, everything looks quite good. We're not going to work on this anymore. I want to work. look at the creeper. See, he will definitely spot us, so let's spot him before he can spot us. There we go. How about that, creeper? How about that? Take take that. There we go. All right, so now we are safe. Um, oh, whoa. See, this is what I'm saying. There's, like, everywhere out of nowhere, like, mobs come out. They just always try to just destroy me in every possible manner. All right, so from back here, I wanted to work on something which was to continue the cobblestone column. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go jump from here. So we have to make it symmetrical. So it's going to be down here, connecting down. Now, this is going to be quite a, a large cobblestone column, I guess. I want to make it symmetrical like I did on the other side, but this might be a little bit of a different project. So I have something in mind. I think we could do something quite cool. So let's go ahead and try this. Let's first of all get that side connected. There it is. Uh, let's actually do something smart before we finish this off. Let's go ahead and get some, where is the spruce wood? There we go. Let's actually take down one of these. And I want to add like some type of area where we can put like a flower pot, which would be kind of cool. Because I do have some flower pots on me right now. And I want to try something real quick. So let's go ahead and see if those can be connected. And now we can close up the cobblestone wall like this. There we go. I, hear, I already hear a zombie. I can hear him. All right. So if we go back down here. We could probably add one more. Let's go see if it would look okay if we add one more like there. No, that does not look good. We need that one removed. We'll probably put it one higher right about there. Perfect. So that does not look half bad. It's different. It looks cool. It fills up this wall a bit. But what we do need to add is the flower pots. Let's throw away this rotten flesh that we do not need. And we can definitely get some flowers just to fill this in a little bit. We'll get a yellow flower. And we can get a red flower. Here we go. Uh, that's good enough for now. I do have three. So, you know what? We'll go ahead and try to get a different flower as well, maybe. Maybe there's something else around here. Looks like there's not. So, we'll just get another yellow flower. Here we go. Uh, so, we got to block up quickly. Let's eat some food. So, we're going to block up to the top. And see if we can get this to look quite cool. Let's see. I think it's a different design. I've never done this approach before. So let's go ahead and try to work with this here. So one flower pot there, maybe one there. So we could just do two, technically. We don't need any more. Um, and they all could be yellow, if if so be. We could do one yellow one here. What? There we go. And then one yellow one right there. Perfect. So let's go back down and see how this looks. I think it looks quite cool. It's a little bit different. Haven't done something like this before. Obviously, you need to see it from a distance. But I think that looks really, really different. So... I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, it looks different and it adds a little bit of detail to the side of this building, which is what I was going for. Oh, this needs to be fixed. We do not want dirt over here. Let's take that out. There we go. Perfect. So that looks better. So it looks like it's naturally with the ground. Oh, I hear, I hear creepers. Where are they? Or I hear zombies. I hear you guys. I know you're around here. All right, for now, hopefully they don't go ahead and attack us. We can even try to put the spruce on this side as well and even make a small little area for a flower. I mean, why not, I guess? We can give that a shot. Let's go ahead and try that. Oh, we can't. Oh, gosh. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right there, place one. Hopefully this flower place. There we go. Perfect. So quite simple on both sides. Um, now we can go ahead and kind of focus a little bit on the lumber yard, do a few little details, and then we'll end off today's episode. But so far, progress is being made. And even though it's 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 a little bit uh, messy so far with the, the outside and inside somewhat, it is coming to detail, but it is still a work of progress, like I mentioned. But I do like this. This is actually quite cool. I like how the inside's kind of simple and rustic. We can actually probably mess around with these walls a slight, slight bit. We could put some cobblestone in here. 
put some andesite within here as well. Here we go. Let's go ahead and try to work on this a little bit more, I guess. Maybe that's fair to say so. Uh, it will definitely add a little bit more detail to here. I hear, I hear zombies out here. There we go. That looks quite nice. I'm liking that. And now for the ceiling. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Even though we're underground, we can still add some detail to it. So let's go ahead and use spruce. And then we're going to put the stairs as well, which I'll show you guys in just a second. There we go. So we can put the spruce stairs like this. Okay, I want to make sure there's no no mob coming after me right now. So something like that looks quite great. I like that. Uh, we can even add, I mean, that can stay how it is right there. We can definitely work on the side of this part right here. We don't want any dirt showing. So let's go ahead and take that dirt out of the way. We'll do the whole side of this as well. So we'll do a few random blocks. And let's get some andesite and some cobblestone. Mess them around a little bit here. Let's see how that looks. And to me, this looks quite good. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. Pretty nice. Do I have any smooth stone actually left over? I do not. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, now, as for the flooring, I really don't know. I think the flooring can stay like this. This doesn't really give us any other option. I mean, we could put probably, um, if I had any leftover. Wait, actually, let's see how would a door look like right here. How would that look? Just so I close it in? I'm not sure. Uh, that's just an option. I don't know. I'm just going to give that a shot. Let you guys decide in the comment sections. But, yeah, it's just like a, a different design. And we can even add, if we'd like to, do we have any fences? Yes, we do. We could even add, like, a, a fence up here. Would that look kind of weird? I don't know. That's just a design. Maybe it just looks too weird. Um, You know what? We could do this. That's quite cool. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this little workstation. It does need some help here and there. So I, I would still like to get some feedback from what you guys have to say. I mean, I could always take down this door and put a trap door like that. And I think that's probably the best go-to, in my opinion. Um, and we can even put maybe, let's figure it out. Um, anything else we can add? My phone's ringing, but I'm going to have to finish this recording priority. Um, so there we go. Let's close this up. And all right. You know what? That looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So let's go ahead and finish off this episode by adding a few more fallen or like areas that we can stack up our wood here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, where do we have the leftover? There it is. And we can start just piling up some random areas for the wood right here. So we'll put some right here. Here we go. Let's actually... Oh, is that a wolf? Okay. I thought that was something else. I was like, oh gosh, here we go. Mobs are after us again. They see us in the outside world. All right. Um... There we go. We'll do the same with this side. Same with this side. And then we'll put one on top. Good. And then we'll just fix up these sides. Here we go. And that should be perfect. Now we just got to add our rails. And then we're still going to be working on here. We still have some projects to do. Definitely still have a lot more to do. But right now we're making a lot of progress. I'd say so myself. But yeah, it's looking good. You guys can see the whole picture, I guess, so far, how it's looking with the lumber yard. We're going to have some fallen down trees. We're going to make the ground look a little bit more beat up. But for what I have to say for today's episode, it's been quite successful. We've done a lot. We had a rough start at the beginning with the creeper. But other than that, I think we're really starting to make this look quite cool. And why are these still here? I'm pretty sure I took down this tree. Or there was probably a tree next to it. But here you go. That looks not bad. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you all think about this in the comment sections. I'm quite happy with this whole design. I think it looks quite cool. It's definitely coming together. Uh, we could definitely do something with the front. The front may need a little bit of help, but it is looking quite cool. We got to do something with the roofing as well because this roofing, I don't mind it staying open. But this one will definitely have to fix the inside to kind of close it up or even leave it like that. I mean, that doesn't bother me. We'll definitely have to do something with the interior as well. But in the meantime, guys, like I said, make sure you guys hit that like button as well. Let me know in the comment sections any feedback whatsoever. And uh, I'll see you guys next time in another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. So thanks again for watching. My name is Alex, and peace out and stay fine. Foxy.